Hello, I'm Laurie Sandall, the president and founder of Cake and Crumbs. Thanks for taking the time to hear the story behind the person and behind the company. Wow, where do I begin? We've come a long way between just a good idea and the establishment of a multi-level tier business. Cake and Crumbs was trademarked, patented, and officially registered and established in 1995, although the idea had been around for much longer than that. I started Cake and Crumbs so I could offer the services I had personally needed but couldn't find anywhere. Being a working mom, I didn't have the time, money, or resources to take the few cake decorating classes offered in my area. And the idea of having to spend close to $100 before I even took the class was not appealing to me. What if I didn't even like the new hobby I was trying out? I'd be stuck with a lot of supplies that cost me money and I never even used them. I knew there had to be other people like myself, living on a budget, with little time to themselves. I knew there were many of us that wanted to learn how to make cakes for our family and friends, but couldn't afford the time or money to take the few offered classes out there. I also knew that such a concept would help me bring in a second income for my family, while giving me the social and creative outlet I was dying for. You see, before I started Cake and Crumbs, Anytime I could get out, I was spending money on a movie, dinner, shopping, or a coffee just to have some time to myself. Cake and Crumbs didn't offer me a movie or dinner, although indirectly it did by giving me money to pay for those things. But when I was teaching classes, it did offer me adult conversation, a beverage, and sometimes an appetizer or two while I was making money. How cool was that? As my classes began to expand to a 180-mile radius, I realized that this little business I had started had big potential. Unfortunately, by the time I woke up to that fact, I was a single mom with two small boys working as a nurse to carry insurance. Living in an expensive county with no family nearby to help me, the idea of branching my company into a multi-level tier business was overwhelming. The thought of contracting with independent instructors was scary. Could I keep up with the training of new instructors and then the added sales that would no doubt be brought in? But some things just happen for a reason. Consistently, I had people approaching me asking to please give them the same opportunities I had for myself, which was personal, professional, and financial growth. And then one day, I was approached by a coworker at the hospital I had been working for. He wanted to simply help me out just because he loved what I was doing and wanted to do it too, just for the fun of it. I began to get excited about the idea of someone supporting me with all the classes I had booked six months out. So I did my homework and I contracted my first Cake and Crumbs instructor and a multi-level tier business was started. From there, anyone that approached me to become an instructor became one if they wanted to. I felt certain that I could service and offer them a sound and foundational business opportunity so long as they understood that I was a one-woman band and that growing pains would surely happen. It was not a hidden fact that I was and still am under the direction of in God's time and that I did not want to get too big too fast. Because of this plan, Cake and Crumbs is now a debt-free establishment that is ready to do more than wait for the potential instructors to approach us. We are presently working on a business plan to find those many women and men out there that like to bake and create and that could use a social, financial, and creative outlet like the rest of us presently part of Cake and Crumbs. Unlike many of the big-named direct sales businesses, Cake and Crumbs has no investors, so our instructors are the only people we are accountable to. And with that idea, they are actually involved in the decisions we make within the company. Because we took our time to grow, we do not have the overhead of a building or employees to cause concern for business costs. We don't have the need to inflate our prices because of the debt of loans or investing percentages. Recession? What is that? Every Cake and Crumbs instructor out there teaching averages earnings of about $70 each class. Now that's an average, so some instructors are making closer to $100 each class, and many of our instructors are booked two to three months out. Since 1995, we've added over 20 more classes to our line, and we are one of the few direct sales companies that has a holiday to sell for every month. 
The summer is active for those that choose to offer Cake and Crumbs classes through their local recreational departments or that offer Christmas in July classes or birthday party classes. No need to elaborate on how crazy busy we are in the fall for the upcoming holidays and how absolutely fun it is. But watch out for the winter busy busy as well. Immediately following the holiday season, we go right into Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and then Easter. Next comes May Day, Mother's Day, and Father's Day. But don't forget about bridal shower classes and wedding favors. So again, I ask, what is a recession? You see, Cake and Crumbs offers many services to our customers throughout the year. Services that are free with no strings attached. Our customers are more than willing to pay a little more for some of our products, although most of them are priced within the same budget of our competitors anyway, because they have the opportunity to use our products before they spend any money, as well as have the opportunity to get them at a discounted rate, up to 50% or absolutely free. Find that in the craft store. Most of our customers have no idea how to use the products we sell before they attend one of our many classes. And by the end of that class, they have now added a Cake and Crumbs instructor to their list of friends and are more than willing to support that instructor and utilize that instructor for most of their baking and creating needs. So in a nutshell, if you are wondering why a company with such an awesome concept is so small, you now know it has basically been by choice. Our plan has been to get all of our ducks in a row before advertising on a big scale. With our upcoming marketing plan, we won't be small for much longer. As my first line of this section says, wow, we've come a long way. My boys are now young men, more independent than I'd like. I'm now remarried to a wonderful businessman who has the smarts for sales and marketing including computer management and networking, all added bonuses to the company. And I no longer need to provide myself insurance or sole support to my boys. Presently, I now work only for myself as the president of Cake and Crumbs and will begin setting up hotel conferences all over the Midwest and surrounding areas for those people seeking to meet Kendra and I as we begin launching the marketing plan we have started. So, Cake and Crumbs is small right now, but with each individual joining our crummy team, we will make this company a sweet success. Yeah.